All right, to the students that are doing this remotely, this is AMT 212. It's your instructor Kelly Burris doing, and we're doing the first assignment. Now, the first assignment that we did is on Chapter 7 on the, on the uh, logic gate on inverters or the not gates, ands, ors, stands, and nors. Uh, study up on that. If you got any questions, let me know. And study uh, what the gates look like, what they do for inputs, and their truth tables. Still got questions, contact me. Now, this is their assignment. It's a two-part assignment on this motor control unit panel. Now, what your, what your fellow student Pete is going to do is he's going to demonstrate how to turn this, this sequence of events, or in this case, the SOP, or how to run this operation. So, Pete, what's the first thing you're going to do? Cut on my power. Right. Or, what's it called? Control power. Main power. Main control power. Right, so turn that on first. Then what's next? I'm gonna turn on my safety switch. Right. And what just happened when you turn on the safety switch? I get power. Right, which power? Control power. All right, All right. what's next? All right, next thing I wanna do is cut the motor on. Right. But you don't hear the motor running, do you? Oh, so what's going on? Well, one thing I can tell you is I don't have no speed, so the motor's not going to run. Right, so what you do? You turn the speed up. Okay. As you can see, it is on. The motor's running. Even though, it need, even though the apparatus is on, need to be calibrated. All right, now since this is running right now, this is your homework, part one. Uh, make a four input AND gate out of each of the parts. Uh, like your inputs are main, are main power or control power, safety switch, motor power, and speed control. That's number one. Your second part of your homework is you will make this into a ladder logic program. Not a schematic, not a diagram, but a program. Because if you say schematic or diagram, you're going to think of analog units using analog symbols. I will put on there, if not today, be early tomorrow, about how to set up your lateral logic programming. Because you need to get back into the habit of doing PLC programming. And you have, and I'll give you the hint, it is two rungs involved in the lateral logic programming. I will give you the second run. Well, half the second run. The first run you on your own. I'm looking for the number of inputs. I give a hint. It must be at least two inputs. That's it. That's all you get. So after that, turn it in by class time, which will be 4.30 on Wednesday. If you or anybody else got questions, do not hesitate to contact me as soon as possible. Don't wait till the last minute because I do not do last minutes. I frown upon last minutes. If you're not going to make class or not go or anything else happens, let me know. All right. That's it. More information is coming. That is all. See you Wednesday.